Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title of today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how I do my curly hair routine. So if you'd like to see how I was able to achieve these results, make sure you stay tuned. I just finished washing my hair and this is the product that I use to wash my hair, the Cream of Nature Aloe and Black Castor Oil healthy and long fortifying shampoo and it says that it's for weak breakage prone damaged hair and my hair is all of those things so it doesn't have no sulfate no silicones no petroleum and no mineral oil so this is what the bottle looks like i absolutely love the shampoo i've actually been using it for quite some time and it just really gives my scalp a deep cleanse and doesn't make my hair feel you know too dry so it moisturizes my hair, but as well makes sure that my scalp is really, really clean. And that's really important for me, especially because my hair is on the thinner side. I need to make sure that I remove as much buildup as possible. So you're probably wondering what's on top of my head. So I prefer to dry my hair with a t-shirt because I find that when I dry my hair with a towel, it just makes my hair really dry. So we're just gonna shake it out. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like. So like I said, it's really thin. So the first product that I go in with is the Cream of Nature Argan Oil from Morocco Style and Shine Foaming Mousse. So this is what that bottle looks like. So I love this product so much and I use a lot of it. So I'm just pumping, pumping. Okay, so I do not use any comb. I just go in with my hands and from the bottom, just work my way up to the top and just make sure I apply the product all evenly throughout my hair. So I'm just gonna bring my mirror here so I can also see what I'm doing. It's hard when you're looking in the finder, the camera finder. Okay. So yeah, so you just wanna make sure you're just evenly distributing the product all over. Get them curls. And then I'm gonna like scrunch it as well. Okay. All right, so then we're gonna do the other side. Same thing, you want to make sure you're applying the product all over. I find that with this product, my curls just have this really nice bounce and shine, which I love. So that's why I'm using a lot of it. So like I said, because my hair, I find that I don't need to use a comb. I just use my hands as a comb and just make sure I get every single strand. And then I'm just gonna do this, scrunch it up. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this part of my hair tends to be the driest. So I'm gonna make sure I get this area. I think this area is called the crown. So I'm just gonna make sure I get this area because this is the area that I always notice. I get a lot of dryness. Okay. So again, you just wanna make sure you get every single strand, make sure every single strand has some love and some product okay all right now that that's done i'm gonna go in with the coconut and hibiscus curl enhancing smoothie from shea moisture this is what that looks like i absolutely love this product and a little goes a long way i only use a little bit of it because this is like a thicker consistency, I don't need a lot of it. So I'm just gonna use, ooh, my cup. <laughs> some bells. I'm just gonna use about this size. And I'm gonna like spread it evenly in the palm of my hand. 
And then I'm just gonna start raking it through my hair. I always start from the bottom and then I work my way up. And then you just wanna make sure you're scrunching the hair. Scrunching. Guys, sorry, I don't know why my chair is making so much noise, but anyways, let's proceed. So I, like I said, this area of my hair is always the driest, so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more product here, make sure I get it. Okay. All right. Okay. So this is what my hair looks like when it's wet, no volume, no life. I'm going to come back and show you guys what it looks like after it's completely dry. And for me, I prefer to let my hair um, air dry. I don't like going in with a diffuser. I don't know. I just don't like the way that it looks. I just prefer to let my curls dry naturally. So actually, I forgot to mention, after I shampoo my hair, I actually go in with the Shea Moisture and Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. I don't use a conditioner. I usually leave this in my hair while I shower and do the rest of my body care. So this is what this looks like. Oh, there we go, focus. So this is what this looks like. This is absolutely one of my favorite hair care products. I love this product. I cannot go without it. It's a staple in my hair care routine. I just find that it adds so much moisture to my curls and they just look so bouncy and so juicy after I use this product. So if you're looking for a new hair mask, regardless if your hair is curly or not, I think this product is amazing because it really does provide an amazing amount of moisture to your hair. And yeah, it says that it hydrates and it replenishes extra dry hair and it's color safe, so it's a win-win. 10-10, highly would recommend. So this is how my hair looks once it's completely dry. The curls are looking real nice and way more volume than before. So what I do is I just keep scrunching up my hair, scrunching up my hair. And usually I would go in with like a pick and just pick at my hair so that way I can just create more volume at the root of my hair because that's usually where it's really flat and that's where I would like to create more volume so I just keep scrunching and scrunching until I get my desired look so I hope you guys like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe make sure you stay tuned because I will be posting more videos this week bye guys